guys, what's up? It's Jess. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm glad you're here today. So what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you my tips on how to make your dorm room super cute. I actually really enjoyed decorating this year. I hadn't decorated a room in a long time and I gotta say, I think my room turned out pretty cute. Like, I, I really think it did. I think a lot of my inspiration came from seeing how my roommate's side of the room turned out. She did a beautiful job. And then I kind of took it and I, I don't know, I tried to like make my side like really showcase my personality. And I like put a lot of time into like picking everything out and setting it up. And so, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it and I think it should be fun. I don't think it should be stressful. I think that, um, yeah, you can get a lot of inspiration from other people. I'm just gonna share a couple little things I did. Most of them are pretty simple that I just think made the space a whole lot cuter. If you're wondering what my dorm looked like last year, I have a dorm room tour. I will link that down below if you wanna watch that for some inspiration. Also, just keep in mind, we got a new dorm room tour coming soon. I'm moving out in like two weeks, which is so weird. I actually moved back early because I'm going to be a resident assistant where I live, which I'm so excited about. I've been like sending cards to my girls and like starting the group me and making our door tags and it's gonna be so fun. I'm so ready. Also, if you guys are new here, don't forget to head on down below and subscribe, turn on that bell notification or don't, maybe just subscribe and pop by when you feel like it, that's fun too. And if you like this, if this is helpful at all and you wanna leave a thumbs up, that's super nice too. So these are just my simple tips to decorate your dorm and make it look super cute. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend is to make a Pinterest board if you haven't already. I feel like that's kind of a common thing. Like, I feel like everyone does that. But if you haven't made a Pinterest board, I would say just like go for it. I love Pinterest personally, but so I would say go on Pinterest and like you can get a lot of inspiration from it. Like your room doesn't have to look like those, but I think it can really help to kind of know what to look for. And so that's kind of what I would do is my roommate and I made a board actually together and I kind of got to see her style, which is so nice. And my thing with that is it just like you're able to see like what you like from it. And I would do kind of similar to Pinterest. I did a bunch of like online shopping on Dormify, but I wouldn't really buy anything because everything seemed kind of... It seemed a little overpriced to me compared to what you can get other places, but I would like look at what I liked from these different places and then go find it in like cheaper places. <laughs> if you haven't done this already, you need to buy a rug. Oh my goodness, rugs are great. My roommate got the cutest rug at Sam's Club and it was huge. It basically filled up the whole room, which was super nice because it was so fluffy and we would like just hang out on it like we would all kind of lounge around on it and it was super nice for friends to come over it was also good too like because i like to we both like to lay on the floor to hang out sounds weird but like comment down below let me know do you like to hang out on the floor too because like i do i'll be like chilling with my books or like watching a show and like doing my thing but having a rug is so nice because it just makes the space cuter and i also think it makes it more functional because i think you can use the floor and not feel like who already lived on this floor? Like who stepped all over this with their gross shoes? You know what I mean? I know not every dorm is gonna let you do this, but I'm just gonna say, if you can switch out your furniture, do it. I know a lot of dorms, like you just kind of get your desks and you get the stuff and like it's all there and it's just, you gotta work with what you get. But like my dorm was different and I'd like to, <laughs> I'd like to think that like somewhere else in the world it's like this. But so when you move in, if you don't wanna use any of their furniture, you would like put a post-it on it, put it in the hallway and like the maintenance, the staff is just gonna take it away for you. And what I did is I, got rid of the side table and the desk, mainly because I just didn't think it fit very well in the room. Like practically the space, it just didn't, it took up a lot of space and it wasn't very pretty. And so I didn't like the desk. I found a desk, my mom found this desk on Home Depot and, I, and we got me a super cute desk and I think it was like $40. And so I would say like, again, if you can't change your furniture, ignore this, but if you can, why not like kind of on a budget, but why not swap out a few of the pieces? Because then if it fits better in the room, like my roommate brought a side table she already had and it was so cute. And so, yeah, I think it helps. I think it makes a big difference. Poofs and cute pillows are absolutely key. Both my roommate and I had like those little poofs that you sit on the ground and you can like sit on them or lean on them. She also had two like really big pillows that were like intended for you to like sit and lean on them and then we had like a ton of throw pillows and like I don't know like I think that having things that make it cozier like that and just make it more like well I feel like it gives it like a homey feel I don't know it just like was really nice we also probably had like a million pillows in our room like if you were to count between us there was 
uh, probably like 20 <laughs> but it was fun it was cute we liked it we got a lot of use out of it that's the thing too is like it was a lot of like we used it every day we both made our beds every day too and so it always looked nice buying cute wall art it makes such a difference I did a lot of shopping at like TJ Maxx Marshalls home goods those places you can get like lots of cute pictures for like not a lot of money and you can find things that are pretty unique and so I know she and I both got a lot of really fun stuff and like I know I like to be surrounded by like very motivational things and so I think we got like a bunch we had this one shelf in our room that we just covered in different canvases and it was just adorable and like that may not be your exact style but like the cool thing about this art is like you know you can get whatever you want and like whatever you can find and so I think it really makes a big difference another thing that my roommate and I both did is we put lots of photographs up and I think adding photographs just is one more like really personalized touch I had photos around my desk and then photos by my bed and I really liked it it kind of reminded me of home it reminded me of friends from high school I thought it looked cute I got a bunch of I think I got at five below so for four or five dollars each I got these photo grids and I used the little tiny clothespins to hang up my pictures so totally affordable and yeah I think it really adds a special touch if you like and if you're someone who has like a Polaroid you can put all your Polaroids up or hang them and it could be totally cute the lighting is so key I would say if you can get some like cute string lights we had some of these in one part of our room I really liked that because we both like didn't go to bed super late most of the time and so we would um when we were getting ready for bed we would turn off the big light and then just have like our lamps and our string lights like our cute little lights on and that really helps just to kind of wind down and i would have them on during the day too if there was like natural light and i didn't need the big light on i would have these on i just find you get a lot of use out of it and it makes the room look like very inviting very cute and warm and oh, i love it for us we just put up a few command hooks like the tiny clear ones and we hung it up and it stayed up all year and so that's like a really fun way to just jazz things up this could just be me because i love looking at plants but i put cute plants everywhere i only had one living plant in my room mainly because i had a hard time keeping it alive and so i had a bunch of fake succulents everywhere i think it just gives it a very natural touch i think it looks more homey at least i don't know my mom and i like love plants and so i just like plants a lot and so I had lots of little plants like I had succulents everywhere that may not be your style but I think it's always a nice touch even to just have one and I'm seeing them like everywhere now and so I'm assuming they're like very trendy because all the stores are carrying them right now this is kind of a weird one but make your space smell nice if you can always be sure to like check the rules where you live but um if you could use like a diffuser or like some kind of smell thing having your space smell like your home is so so I just feel like it plays a very vital role in making it feel like home because that the whole point of like decorating like yes you want it to be cute and like represent your style but like at the end of the day you want this place to feel like home for the nine months you live there or however long it is and so yeah if having like a nice smell in there makes it feel more like home to you then like totally go for that i used my shelves really only for decorating if you can incorporate some things you want to store like one of my friends would store her plates and mugs but they looked like part of her decorations and it was just beautiful do that but my shelves i really just decorated in them i didn't really put storage baskets i would hide my storage and i would use my shelves for just cute stuff Personally, I think that looks better every- well, okay, I thought that looked better in my space. Not everyone's space looks the same, so like, take it with a grain of salt. But I, yeah, I would just decorate in the places people could see, like, put cutesy things, like little knickknacks and stuff that, like, are important to me, and then stuff that was, like, just stuff I had to have but not cute to look at. That was the kind of stuff I stored away. Hide the clutter. I think that if you want a cute room like cool that's fun but like my roommate and I did a really good job I would say of keeping it relatively clean for a college dorm room and okay in our dorm tour it is like extra clean we're not always we weren't always that clean but we were still pretty clean we made our beds every day we didn't really leave clothes around like we were on top of the ball with that one thing and so I would say if you want your room to be cute if you want it to be decorated nicely then like hide the clutter and by hide the clutter I mean like invest in storage and like hide things under your bed in your closet um, like in the cabinets you have and then what you have out is gonna look so pretty and nice because it's not gonna be a mess so guys i hope that these tips were helpful to you this is just kind of some of the ways i made my room look super cute this is also a nice refresher for me because i'm about to do some more dorm shopping 
I'm using a lot of similar things from last year. I'm not like starting from scratch, but I did want a couple new pieces so my room doesn't look identical as to the way it looked last year. Let me know what y'all love to use to decorate. I'd love any of your tips. That would be super helpful. And if you found this helpful at all, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you want, be sure to subscribe down below because we're doing all this fun school content. And then when I get back to school, I'm gonna get back to vlogging and week in my life stuff. Anyways, I hope y'all have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video.